Good morning. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. We are up at the cabin. We just got up. I have no idea what time it is. Mm, 7, 6.30? But as you can tell, the birds are wide awake. Kind of woke me up. I wished I knew a little bit more. And the coffee, we had a little bit of a scare. And the coffee was just about done perking. And Doug said, oh no, I don't remember if I packed the hazelnut creamer. I'm not exaggerating. We both just kind of stared at each other like, um, it's an hour and a half to town. And I'm not going. <laughs> he was panicked. <laughs> but alas, he didn't forget it. I am going to be on caulking detail today. I'm going to caulk the trim that he put up and paint it and get it all pretty. And I hear you. That's funny. I laid in bed this morning as the birds were waking up. <clears throat> and I heard one little bird. Just doodly, doodly. Just every once in a while. Doodly, doodly. That's my bird sound. That's as good of a bird sound as I can make. And then pretty soon you hear two. And then you hear three. And then you hear different kinds. There's one that goes, I don't know what it is. I guess it's a metal arc. I don't know. But within like, I don't know, 30 minutes or an hour, all the freaking birds are awake. The forest is alive. And you can hear the chipmunks and pretty nice. <clears throat> this is where the deer and elk usually come by in the morning. Doug has much better eyes than I do. Still pretty amazing that We're this far, we're only like 40 miles from the Idaho primitive area, Frank Church Wilderness area, which is a highly restricted wilderness area. It means if you pack it in, you pack it out. You can't go to the bathroom outside without packing it out. And, I mean, we're so far away. We're an hour and a half from town. But Doug's in there watching the news on Dish Anywhere. Go Dish Anywhere. Yeah, it's great. You just load the app. And you can watch it on your iPad. Your telephone. Well, oh, and he's going to finish railing on this deck. He's just going to make it so it's a little harder to fall off. He's not going to put this these two-by-twos on there. He's just, that deck down there, we use it for storage, but they used it, the previous owners and the people who built the cabin, they actually used it for a sleeping room. There's a little 
a log bed down there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cute, really. <clears throat> but Doug uses it to store stuff. Any bird people out there can hear what kind of bird I got going on? Birds, I should say. We've heard the hummers, but they don't like our food. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, pardon me. Well, I'm going to go in and it's a little chilly out here. It's only 42 degrees. I'm going to go in and finish my coffee. I'll keep you guys up to date. I'll take you for a walk later. Let's all take care of each other. <laughs>